Okay, so now we're basically onto the PowerPoint part. And this is actually a reasonably straightforward part, doesn't take too much time. Oh, and I was going to add one other little thing before I go on. Earth and View, and this is one of the great things that I do love about this program, it actually will allow you to, <laughs> yeah, the red there, it does annoy some people. I suppose you could change the icon if you really want to. Um, okay, uh, one thing about Earth and View is it's designed to open up a very wide range of programs. So it's not just for pictures. It will actually play DVDs as well as video files and things like that. So if you don't have a DVD playing program on your computer, chances are that Earth and View might possibly be able to play that DVD for you. So that's just a little bit of food for thought and, and something worth trying. It might not work perfectly like a, a sort of a dedicated DVD playing program, but at a stretch it may do the job. It also plays sound files. And so I've just opened up a new blank PowerPoint screen. Um, by the way, I'm using PowerPoint 2010 for this example. I believe that with this same process will work for the previous version, 2007. But earlier than that, you might find that some of the instructions will be completely different and you may have to do a little bit of research. Hopefully um, it'll still work, but you may have to do a bit more research to find out which menu to, to click on and, and things like that. Okay, so all of those photos, um, they were the ones that were renamed, for if you remember Workstation 001 all the way up to 22. Basically what we're going to do is we're going to be putting those photos into PowerPoint in such a way that there's one picture per slide, all framed more or less correctly, and in a slide which has a title and just like any other slide presentation in PowerPoint, you just use as you would use any other form of PowerPoint slideshow without having to go through the process of individually pasting um, one photograph into each slide as you build it, which is, I find, really useful. Okay, so if we go to, now, go to insert. And you hopefully will see there's a bunch of um, buttons here on the uh, ribbon. And what we're going to be using is this one here called Photo Album. I don't know if anyone here has actually used this before. Maybe give me a tick if you have actually used this program before. But um, I suspect that not everybody uses it because it you know, might appear at times to be a bit daunting. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to click on that button. And it comes up with a little window like this. And basically, it's reasonably straightforward. We have the first button, which is File, or Disk, if you prefer. And you click on that button. And that asks you, basically, where is the folder that my pictures are located? So I save them on the desktop. And if you'll remember, we made a folder called Renamed. And that was the folder that I put all my new renamed pictures into. So we'll just select all of the pictures, shift and click to select all, and then insert those pictures. Now, what will happen is you'll come up again with a little screen like this. Image one at the beginning, image two, image three, image four, and so on, all the way down to image 22. And if I look through ever so quickly, what you might notice as you go through these images is that one or two of them, like say that one there, are round the wrong way. Basically these images are taken in portrait mode rather than landscape mode. So what we're going to do on these particular images is click on this button here to rotate them like so. You could rotate them all the way around or rotate them in different directions, but basically we want all of our images to sort of, you know, line up so that we can see them reasonably clearly in, in, in PowerPoint. And again, some of these images are okay, and some of them, uh, again, need to be rotated like so. And, uh, once I've finished, again, that's one that needs to be rotated, like so. Yep, that's all right. Okay. And so on. 
All right, so now that I've rotated just the pictures that I want to rotate, all we need to do next is you've got picture layout. Now, there's a whole different lot of options. You could have four pictures on a slide, you know, and other variations thereof. But for today's purposes, I'm just going to use the standard fit to slide option. But I'd recommend that um, if you uh, if you want to look into it further, I would say try out some of these other picture options like so. Okay, so I'm going to choose fit to slide. And I'm not going to worry about theme yet, but again, it's one of those things that if you are a big fan of PowerPoint themes, which personally I'm not, then you can click on browse and select a theme. And then all that's left to do at this point is to click on the create button. And what will happen is, it's a little bit of time and thinking about it. Okay, so what will happen is that now I've got a whole set of slides like so, where each photograph has been inserted into a new slide at close to, if not full, slide um, proportions. And obviously on ones like this, the images have been resized to fit vertically, and obviously then we've got white space um, on either side, like over here and over here. So. If I was doing this as a slide presentation, I'd prob especially if I'm doing it on a projector, for example, I'd probably want to have a black background because, you know, it, it probably looks a bit nicer and would keep everybody happy. So to change the background, all I need to do, uh, hang on one second, go to design. Okay, go to design, so that's this tab here. Go to background styles and you can just click on, for example, that button there. And so now I have a black background. And that applies across every slide, including the first one like so. And at this point, I might want to give it a title like so. And that is essentially that. Now, I wonder if I'm able to share the actual PowerPoint presentation. That would be an interesting question. Okay, let's just go back to the whiteboard. Um, um, okay, so now that we're on our slide again, um, okay, so hopefully everybody can see that uh, screen again on the whiteboard. Um, give, give a tick up if you can see that and basically, okay, that screen there is essentially the instructions step by step of what I just did before. And let's see, okay, um, all right, and if everyone doesn't mind, I'll just advance to the last slide or two. Okay, so yeah, that's just a, a, a screenshot, essentially, of the uh, finished um, album, in a sense, what we, what we just did before. And now I'm going to try and see if I'm able to do this. So this here that I've got on the screen now, this is actually my um, PowerPoint presentation in action running. And so if I just uh, use my mouse click, I should be able to go through my PowerPoint slideshow like so. And uh, if I press the end button, it'll take me to the last slide like that. And that is how to, to do a slideshow. Um, and that, that, that what I've got on the screen there is just a few other little tips and things and bits of information that you might find useful as well.